Hey, everybody, this is Joe from Revan News. We're at the PRI show, and we're here with our friends from Energy Suspension. Hey, Mike, we can't shake each other. It seems like we were with each other about a couple weeks ago at SEMA. I'm waiting for that first paycheck, Joe. I, I could have swore that, you know, Revan. It's in the mail. Okay, got it. I, I, I read in the contract that we might be doing this a little bit more often. You know better to read those contracts. We've got a nice Mustang rear end here, and I see it littered with red components. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about what you guys have done with this rear end. Sure. On uh, the 2015 uh, 16 Mustang, uh, we did a lot of testing up front uh, from the stock perspective of it. And what we found out is uh, it's a really good handling package uh, out of the box. Now that it's gone with independent rear suspension, um, it's very compliant. Uh, it's very supple. It's very uh, controllable. Um, what it does lack is some firm bushings. Uh, there's a lot of um, compliant rubber back here with all the more articulating parts, such as the uh, rear control arms, the subframe, the differential mounts, all these things need to be buttoned up and, and, and bolted up to the car and be pretty stable when they're uh, under load. Well, what's happening is uh, more of the OE factories are using more compliant rubber. So what I've got here is a diff carrier bushing. It's uh, encased in a uh, stamp steel shell. Uh, as you can see, it's aluminum sleeve and it's got really soft rubber um, innards in it. So again, it's great for noise vehicle and heart, or excuse me, noise vibration and harshness, but under load at launching and driving it uh, on hard cornering, they like to give a lot. And when you give on that rear end, uh, it's very unforgiving. You lose traction, you lose control, it, you lose a lot of time. Whether you're trying to get to the light as, from the next guy or you're actually on a track, um, that's where you're gonna find out the weak links on the suspension uh, on the chassis. So obviously we've got the guys covered there on the street where they're gonna enjoy a, a better ride, a, a more secure ride than we got the guys on the street, whether it's Asian and farm truck racing like they do or the guys running NMCA or NHRA, they're gonna see the advantages in the quicker times. Yeah, we did go much more than having just the rear subframe and the differential uh, mounts on the 2015, 2016 Mustang. We came out with the rear control arm bushings as I mentioned, but we kept going with that with the front control arm bushings and the front sway bar bushings, which balances the whole vehicle out completely. Again, the NVH is a little bit more noticeable, so you feel the car like it was meant to be driven. So it's got a lot of driver feedback, but the advantages are better handling, less wheel hop, better control of the vehicle, and whether you are a daily driver, a weekend warrior, NMRA, NMCA, NHRA guy, uh, you're going to enjoy the car and drive it the way it was meant to be driven. Hey, so folks, if you're a Mustang guy, a pony car enthusiast, uh, you got to check out the energy suspension products. Uh, these do make a difference. This is going to give you that advantage that you need. Mike, thanks for spending some time with us here. Hey, thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. Always a good time. All right, man.